Hello everyone, a very warm welcome. Today we are here to discuss what is the next five months strategy that you have for your IIT JAM paper. Note that today is 15th of September 2022. You have October, November, December and January. The paper is 12th of Feb. So in order to go ahead and to cover your syllabus, you approximately have five months. What should be your strategy for these five months? Now, as you all know, we have a separate batch for IIT JAM exam plus GATE exam. This has a special focus only on IIT exam paper. We will only be focusing on that. We are not going to go ahead and do in, you know, questions related to DSC, ISI or any other institute there. Only questions related to IIT, practicing more and more type of questions, more and more type of MCQs, MSQs, etc. That would be coming only in IIT paper. We are also having another batch for MA Economics entrance exam. All of you know well about it. This is a bigger batch. This goes till the month of July in which we cover DSC, ISI. This has IIT in it also. Everything that is covered in this will be covered in the MA Economics course. But a special batch only for students with the special motive of clearing IIT, we do run that batch also. I'm going to share the strategy with you what I follow in this batch. If you are not taking any classes, you can follow the same strategy. By now, you should have covered micro and maths thoroughly. If you haven't covered, I will share what should be done now. Don't worry. But by now, you should have covered micro and maths thoroughly. The aim is to take the month of September and October and mid of November to cover macro thoroughly. Then from mid of November to end of December, we will cover statistics. By this time, you already will have all your videos in of Indian economy with you. So, you know, you have to go through those 15, 20 videos. That's it. The entire month of January will be only this time I am going ahead and I am providing special mock papers only for IIT Jan and GATE exam. These are very, very special mock papers. These are the kind of questions you will be asked to attempt in the final exam. If you do these mock papers well, 50% of your confidence will be gained there. Your problem is resolved. You will have a high confidence. 50% of your problems are resolved. It's a great thing to do these mock papers and past years. So my January would be focused on discussing only these mock papers, at least 10 mock papers I will discuss, followed by doing all the past year questions. Each and every question we have to thoroughly do. Okay. So this is the timetable that you can follow. Now, in case you're asking, ma'am, I have just started. I don't know anything about maths and uh, micro also. Gear up. This is the time to now start. No long vacations, no long holidays anymore. You have to be consistent with what you are doing now. You already know the month of October will have so many festivals coming up. End of December, a lot of people will not study. You still have your Diwali, the Shara, Durga Puja, Eid, uh, Guru Nanak, birthday, etc., etc. coming. So many festivals lined up. 
you still have to be consistent you still have to take the day out from your schedule every day to study as i always tell my students it's okay you are not able to dedicate 5 hours you are not able to dedicate 10 hours dedicate 2 hours dedicate 1 hour one hour per day even if you start doing that from now you will be able to see yourself among the good rankers in iit merit list so what should be the strategy now for micro my favorite book is varian followed by numericals from snyder if you are part you know if you have taken uh, my classes you can just go ahead and do all the tests that i give you weekly test they th those have to be done for macro don bush and blanchard are used in combination so use these two books if you are taking my classes no book required only videos followed by practice questions for maths Fidister and Hammond is enough or ACGM for stats devote if you are taking classes not required just do my intermediate and basic stats video followed by my live advanced lectures and for Indian eco Indian eco is one subject. You do how much ever you require. It will never be sufficient. They will always ask you a question which will be out of the topic. Not out of the topic per se, but very less chances that you would have thoroughly done each and every component of the topic. So you, the reference book is Uma Kapila, but I don't want you to waste time on Indian eco. It just comes for eight marks out of 100. Even if you know two questions well, that's fine. So for Indian Eco, my suggestion is pick at the last when time permits. And if you do only my videos, it's fine to get a basic understanding of what will come in exam. These four subjects will come from approximately 90 to 92 marks. This is where we have to do a hand holding. This is where we, we need to go ahead and cover the syllabus. Now, what should you do? Starting now, if you are just starting, start immediately with micro and max. Immediately. No waiting. Not even a single day. Even if it is your internal assessment in college, even if it's your birthday, even if it is the share up, one hour you will give if no occasion is there give at least two to two two and a half hours i am not one of those persons who will suggest you do not study and still you will clear the exam no there is no short cuts that you can take you have to work hard to get into a good institute 15th september you start with micro and macro dedicate september october to micro macro in november do sorry to micro and max in november do macro december do stats january only questions you have to see yourself that you know if all four five subjects are given to you together in the same test how much pressure can you take that you can only understand by solving mock questions full fledged three hours sitting in the paper uh, like sitting in a paper, that environment should be created. So you have to attempt all that 60 questions in a go in the portal. So this uh, January is only about mock tests. I will come back to you and I will tell you how we will be approaching these mock tests in January. I will be giving you a complete timetable. It will be every two days. So, you know, 1st of Jan, 4th of Jan, 7th of Jan and so on. Like this, we will be alternating these mock papers and at least 
10 papers we have to solve. That's past year questions. Of course, we have seen these past year questions with every lecture also. So when you are studying micro, make sure that you do its past year question only at that time. So for example, you know that uncertainty is a very important topic in exam, right? Very, very important. When you read this chapter of uncertainty, there are past year questions in 2021 also, 2022 also. Do them. Don't wait. Do them immediately when you read this topic. Then when you do production theory, you know that one concept used in one of the questions was P into MPL is equal to W. Make sure that you do a question on this concept. Then look at the similar questions from Snyder and Varian workbook. Practice four or five more questions based on this theory. Then move to the next topic. So every topic has to be followed by a similar question from the past year and similar question from book or uh, Varian workbook or Snyder book. Are you getting it? So I am here to kind of alert you today that only five months are left. If you are planning to even join a coaching, please do not wait further. If you come in November and December, it is a wastage of your money, your parents' hard-earned money, your hard-earned money. So don't do that. This is the right, right time to start preparation for the IIT exam. I am not one of those people who will say, you know, you come in Jan, you take the course and you will clear the exam. Not possible. Absolutely not possible. Five months are also less. I am telling you now. But consistency and hard work can help you clear the exam. Given that you start now. You take the action now. Okay. All right. Thank you.